Hi everyone, welcome back to this lecture series of Tanner. I am Shubham Gaur, and in this video, I am going to show you a trick. Okay, so we have seen in previous videos how to include the libraries. That is, we have to include the libraries one by one. Okay, but let's say if you are too lazy like me to do that, there is a simple shortcut so that you don't have to include libraries every time. All right, so I am going to show you that shortcut in this video. Okay. So those of you who are having any problems uh, in including the libraries or do not want or are lazy like me and do not want to include the libraries can do this. What you need to do is you need to go to documents then Tanner EDA and in this folder Tanner tools. <coughs> All right. So here you will be having these designs that is designs, designs by type, features by tool. These folders you will see. All right. So these are basically the library files which we include in that. So what we need to do is we need to go to uh, these designs. Okay, or we can see these tutorials. So these kind of things are available here. So we need to go to designs and these are all the designs. These are the examples which are already uh, developed in Tanner. All right, that is uh, that comes when you install Tanner with the Tanner software itself. All right. So what you need to do is you need to just click on any of the designs. Let's say we open this inverter and there will be dot lib file uh, in every design. So just double click on it and uh, you need to wait for it to open the Tanner software. Once it will open, you will see all the libraries listed in the Tanner software. Okay. So here I said it is opening. So you can see here all the libraries, all these are automatically included in this. Okay. So you will be seeing basically this design when you open. Okay. So what you need to do, you don't need to uh, make changes, any changes to this design. You just need to go to cell and create a new view. All right. And select the library as new library, or you can create your own library. Like uh, first of all, I will show you how to create a library. So basically you will go to file, new, new library and here you will be in this folder. Okay. So here you are going to uh, name your library that is, let's say I name it new library two. Okay. Uh, this is the folder in which I create my, all my designs. So I will just create a new library two. And here also I'm going to add new library two. All right. So I'm going to click OK. So here you can see there is this new library to folder. So now I'm going to create a new view of the cell that is new and here I'm going to click select the library that is new library to and let's say I name it as test. So I'm going to click OK. And now you can see I can just add any of the devices, anything which I want in this new library. So you can see here this is NMOS and I can just create an instance and add it here. All right. So all the components are available and I don't have to add any libraries. All right. So this is a shortcut that is you can use. Uh, so if you don't want to add the libraries or if you are facing any difficulties in including the libraries. So this is just a shortcut method. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.